Hope y'all enjoyed coming along for the Front Tee Challenge, the last two uploads out at Nashville Golf Athletic Club. That was so much fun. Had a lot of good swings in both of those videos. Happy with the direction of the game currently. However, still need to work on the wedges, so that is something I'm gonna be focusing on here in the future. For today's video, got some fun. We are gonna be playing golf with a cork ball. Yes, I know, you might not have ever heard of a cork ball. Looks like a baseball, but much smaller. The game started actually in St. Louis, Missouri, years and years ago. Super fun game, played in a similar fashion to baseball, but a little different. You can look up the rules if you'd like to kind of see how the game is actually played. However, we're bringing the cork ball to the golf course today here at the little course in Franklin, Tennessee. We're gonna play the first six holes out here. Honestly, see how this ball reacts? I have no idea. Probably gonna be tough to putt because uh, the laces, but we're gonna find out. Here's the first hole, par three, 118 yards from the tees I'm gonna be playing from. I'm gonna hit pitching wedge here because I don't think that this ball is gonna quite fly like a golf ball. This is the very first swing I've ever hit with a cork ball and a golf club. We're gonna find out how far this goes. Front pin should be pretty accessible, but you never know with the cork ball. couldn't tell there if I hit that that bad or if that's just how the ball's gonna fly. I felt like I hit it in the center of the face. We're just gonna kind of roll with it. Uh, we've got a little left into the green from there. After that first shot there, go ahead and pause this video, drop down below, put a comment down. Are we gonna make a par here today? I don't know. We'll find out. Comment below. What do you think? Alrighty, here is where we ended up, right there, about 60 yards left to the green. I'm going to be using a 60 here. I need some loft. That one didn't get in the air, so let's see what a 60 can do. That is ridiculous. I had no idea what that was gonna do out of that rough. I mean, that's like a foot and a half short. I mean, I mean, wow. This would be incredible to make a par on the first hole. Wow, are you kidding me? That's like a birdie. Number two, par three. They are all par threes out here at the little course. 120 yards to kind of a middle back pin. We're gonna give the pitching wedge one last go. According to that first hole, probably not the play, but we're gonna give it one more go with the pitching wedge. Honestly, that was pretty good. That probably flew like 90 yards maybe. I'm probably about 25, 30 yards just short of this pin, just short of the green. That was pretty good there. I've got to hit up on the ball. That's what I learned. Can't hit down on it. That ball's not going to get in the air, so hit a bit more up on it. All righty. Not too bad. Just short of the green. A little bump and run action from here. bump and a bit more run there. Oof. That was a little speedy there. That 
that is not easy to roll the rock. I'm starting to realize that is a double bogey there on number two. It is not real easy to roll the rock with these laces. The ball kind of just kind of maneuvers around. Yeah, and downhill, downhill, the ball doesn't really stop too much. So gonna need to work on the speed. Two over, through two, par on one, double there on two, on to number three. 117 yards here, par three. We're gonna go ahead and go with pitch and wedge again. I like the ball flight of that last shot. Pitch and wedge gives us enough loft to get it in the air. We learned a bit after the first swing. So pitch and wedge here off of three. hitting these pitch and wedges straight distance not so much the fourth hole will actually be a hole that I think we can reach so these first three holes almost playing them like par fours even though they're par threes because of the distance just not quite there but the next hole should be more reasonable distance might even hit the green that'd be awesome Alrighty, here we are, just short of the green, about 30 yards left. Need a bit more run and less bump, like I said, for this one. So hopefully we can get it all the way up this little slope here that runs just short of the pin. We got that one all the way up the slope, a little long, about six feet left. For the par. Oh, that's disappointing. All right, that's a bogey here on three. Three over through three holes. Honestly, I'll take that. Putting, chipping, and distance are definitely difficult. So I'd have to say bogey is kind of like par. Pars are kind of like birdies. So all in all, I would say three over through three is, you know, not bad. I'll take it. On to four, 85 yards. You need to flight it over the bunker. I'm going to go put the camera behind the green so you get a little better vantage point from there. Would be awesome to hit the green. Let's let it fly. 85 yards. Probably the pitching wedge. I never thought I'd have a birdie putt. Here's a birdie look. Honestly, never thought I'd hit a shot like that here today. That was ridiculous. Just watch the footage real quick. That was so close. I mean, just a couple inches away. I mean, I don't think the ball would have fit in the hole with the flag stick in there. However, that was an awesome shot. That got the blood pumping. Let's see if we can't roll this birdie in. Alrighty, this is our birdie look right here. Little side pano. Let's see if we can't roll the rock. Stretch for me. Oh. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, I thought I had a birdie there. If we would have made a birdie today, I don't even know. That was like beyond a pin slammer, beyond a camera knockdown. That would have, I would have had to have created something brand new for a birdie with a cork ball. On to number five. 126 yards, par three. Pin looks to be pretty much in the middle. We're gonna try to nine iron here. Yeah, we're gonna go with the nine.
hit that one relatively the same distance as the pitching wedge, I feel like. Uh, pulled it just a fraction, but really not too bad. I don't know, nine iron pitching wedge. I don't think we're hitting that ball much further than we currently are, no matter what club I choose. So I think pitching wedge, nine iron, that's kind of what we need to hit the tee shots with. All righty, we are in the short grass right there. Not too far, about 25 yards left. Walking up here, I, I don't really want to bump it into there. I think we're going to fly something all the way up onto the green with a lob wedge. I think that's going to be our best bet for getting it close. really happy with that chip there probably should have bumped it into the hill because you're not going to get any spin at all that did kind of trundle away from us about 20 feet left for our par not too bad of speed from right there pulled it just a little bit thought it would break i think the laces held it up that's all right three feet left for par bogey not par Let's go, that was a huge two putt right there. Alrighty, we are four over through five with the cork ball here at the little course today. One hole left. Honestly, yeah, I'm scoring better than I thought I would. I really thought I'd be making a lot of double bogeys. Hit a couple good shots, the shot back on four, the tee shot, definitely the highlight of the day. Rolling in, honestly, at the two putt there from like 20 something feet, it was really not that easy to do. So all in all, pretty happy with four over through five on to number six. See if we can't make that elusive birdie. Let's go. Number six, par three, 140 yards. Yes, that is a long, long ways. Won't be reaching it, I don't believe. Oh yes, we're gonna sting it. I, I've gotta see what the court ball can do with a stinger. Never left the ground, hit it pretty solid. It actually trundled well on down there, just short of the green. We'll take that. This has been so much fun today, playing with a cork ball. So if you like this video, just drop a like down below. That'd be greatly appreciated. Hopefully we can get this up and down to make another par. That would be three out of six holes making pars. Ah, that would be awesome. That is what we're looking at, about 25 yards left to the hole. We've got a look for our third par today. Honestly, can't believe that. Let's go. I feel like that deserves a pin slam for three pars. We're going to do a pin slam. Hope y'all enjoy coming along the cork ball challenge. Really played better with it than I ever anticipated. Let's see, we finished at a double, two bogeys, three pars, four over for the six holes. That was a lot of fun. I don't think you would want to play it much further back than I did because I think somewhere roughly around 100 yards is going to kind of max out the distance no matter what club you have, but that was so much fun. So yeah, here is the ball one last time. It actually held up pretty good. None of the laces got messed up. So we may have to try this again. Comment below if you'd like to see a cork ball challenge maybe with someone else in the video with me playing a little match. Let me know. I also can't thank y'all enough for the incredible support on the channel. We're over 26,000 subscribers now. 
truly amazing. Couldn't be here without you. So thank you so much. And y'all, until next time, we'll see you when we see you.